So we're here in beautiful Costa Rica taking some pictures with the Fuji X-T2. I have the uh, 16 to 55 on, just waiting for the sunset right now. But we're taking some test shots with uh, the wonderful Vicky right here. So let's get to work. So the cool thing about Costa Rica is the quality of the light, the quality of the sunsets. I actually haven't seen something like that in my whole life. These are the most gorgeous sunset I've ever seen, so that makes it a very cool place to do some portrait photography. So in the next couple of shots, you'll be able to see how the Fuji X-T2 actually translates that very good quality of light. I was using ISO 200 to stay uh, consistent and also F2.8 to get that nice blurry background. I was also using the exposure compensation dial to be able to manage the very rapidly changing light that was surrounding us. So in the next shot, you'll be able to see the quality that I was referring to. Just look at the nice background here, blurry background with the 16 to 55 at f2.8. And also look at the sky and look at the quality of the light on the skin. Here's another example. I think you can actually see why I love that Fujifilm X-T2 so much and the whole Fuji um, aqua system. Just look at the quality here. So we wanted to take in other angle and we literally found a very cool angle. So I was adjusting my camera here, just compensating a bit because of the light. Actually the light source was behind my subject. So I had to compensate a bit, but look at the, again, the dynamic range that we're getting here. So there you go. Look at the sky, look at the rock in the forefront, look at the sun in the back. Very, very, very pleased with the results from the X-T2 here. Another thing you might want to try when you're doing some portrait photography uh, in a condition like that, very nice sunset and very good light, uh, you might want to try to experiment with black and white actually. Um, that's one example where I'm showing Vicky uh, a photo that uh, you're going to see in a couple seconds that I already saw in black and white. I don't know, because of the contrast, I know it's all about colors uh, when you have a really nice sunset like that, but if you look at this shot right here. I think you will agree that this, again, quality of light makes for some very, very cool black and white too. So don't, don't hesitate to experiment. Yeah, even though the scene calls for a color, you might want to try black and white. When I said that the quality of the light is important, this is what you get with really great quality of oh, light. So another very cool feature of the Fujifilm X-T2 is the ability to tilt the screen up. But not only can you tilt it up, you can also tilt it on the side and you'll see why it's so handy. Here I wanted to take a shot of Vicky in a portrait orientation in a very low angle on a rock. So instead of having to crawl and to basically have my whole body on the ground, I just used the LCD screen right there that I tilt up on the side and I've been able to manage to take that shot that you're seeing right here. 
So this concludes my very quick behind the scenes of the photo shoot I did with the beautiful Vicky in Costa Rica with the Fujifilm X-T2. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them down below. If you like what you're seeing, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. And if you want to take photos like this one, you can actually subscribe to that channel where I go through all my settings and maybe you want to watch a previous video. Well, actually you can do that right here if you click on previous video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit me on the social media. Cheers.